lead guitarist in the band Zipatone and uh, I want to talk to you today about one of my favourite pedals which is the Sonus Wahoo pedal which isn't just the normal wah pedal it's a analog wah in a digital brain and it does loads of things like step filters, phasers, um, dubri wattsits and uh, I'm going to show you some of my favourite presets one of which is called Poo so I'm using my um, custom MJS guitar that I designed and a mad French guy called Godfrey Margazul built for me. Um, it's got Alimitone Death Buckers in there, which are fantastic jazz pickups. And before you all write in and ask, this is a Fishman Triple Play uh, MIDI pickup, which I'll do a video on another time. Um, it's going straight into a Providence Flame Drive, fantastic overdrive pedal, and then into the brilliant Sonus Wahoo. Um, which is going into Motu Ultralight straight into the computer. So it's all DI'd. So I'm going to show you some of the, the, the sounds that I use. This is just like a straight crybaby sound. Um, and this also illustrates some, one of the things I really like about the, cry, uh, the, the Wahoo is that you don't have to find that little button on top of the treadle and put all your weight on it and you know sometimes hit it, sometimes don't. Um, you basically move the pedal forward, it switches on uh, you can set it up like that, it doesn't have to do that, you can do it all by the bypass button. But um, here's a quick idea of what it sounds like. This is just my straight guitar at the moment. And if you're of a certain age, you can do the end of Animal Magic. <laughs> Johnny Morris, you remember that? No, you're probably too young. Um, so one of the other little features of the, the, the Wahoo is that you can play a scale and you get a kind of um, filtered effect. But when you bend a note, it wahs for you. Which is great, it's a great effect. It means that I don't have to use my foot. So I can use my foot for other things like kicking the singer um, as I bend a note and take a solo. So one of the, the main selling points for me um, was the, the auto wah function. And it's um, it goes by the velocity of how you how hard you play. And it's fantastic for the kind of um, uh, the slap guitar stuff that I do. <laughs> So every time I, I really pull a note, it was, and when I'm just hitting the notes, the harder I hit them, the more that, that it opens up and you get that kind of quack. Um, it's also great for doing, um, I play in a jazz fusion band called Curfew, and we do kind of Zabinol Syndicate, um, Scott Henderson type funk things. And when you're just bubbling away on, a, on one note, so I can play really soft. And it just opens up when I when I hit the, the, the note hard. We've got a song on the Zipper Tongue album called uh, Pirates of the Sound Waves. It's on the album Above All Noise. And um, in it I just play two chords, but I use the Wahoo um, on a particular filter effect. It's like a step filter effect. So that when I hit a chord, um, you get a little bit of action after I hit the chord. And also I've set it so that I'm at one speed when the, the pedal's all the way back. And it speeds up when you put the pedal forward. And you can do this with all kinds of effects within the Wahoo. It's brilliant. So uh, the chords without the Wahoo are just two really simple sus2 chords. Um, and with the Wahoo, once I put that in, does all the work for me, basically. Later on in the song, I speed up um, the, the effect. I can just leave it hanging and, and the effect does, it kind of creates the groove for me. So um, I can do things like grab a beer or um, eat peanuts. It's great fun. So one of the great dilemmas of uh, being a guitar player is what you do with yourself during 
the drum solo. Um, and a few of the bands I play in, the drummer will take a long drum solo and it's expensive going to the bar for that length of time sometimes. So what I've started doing is joining in. The Wahoo's got a fantastic, um, you can use a filter sweep effect. So instead of just like a normal wah, which takes up a small amount of frequencies, you can use a larger band of frequencies so that you, you get like a more of a dance filter kind of effect. So... Um, so the, the chord opens up as you're playing it. And using like uh, flamenco techniques or whatever, I can join in with the drum solo. So I can um, create a bit of tension. So it's almost like, uh, I think of it almost as being like a tabla player, um, doing the kind of thing that the, the amazing tabla players do, try a lot of two, that kind of thing. Um, and it gives you an extra dynamic to do during a drum solo that's not just all about drums. So you can get a wee guitar solo in there as well. In one of our songs on the Zipper Tongue album, uh, a song called Not Today, I'm doing the rhythm guitar behind Steve's lead guitar uh, halfway through the song. And uh, also when we play live a lot, when I play with other key when I play with keyboard players or other guitar players, um, I don't want to be overpowering at that point with my rhythm playing and have the chords too loud. So one of the tricks I've used in the past is, and you should all use, is to um, take your tone control almost off, and that cuts out all the top end and upper mid range to allow the lead guitar to shine through, and then you can play what you want underneath. Um, so what I do is, is I've set the wahoo up to do exactly that. If I'm playing the... Uh, I'm playing now, there's a lot of mid in there, and that just drowns, doesn't necessarily drown people out because I'm too loud, it's just all the frequencies clash. So if I then switch on the wahoo at that point, sounds like I'm playing in a cupboard, but um, I'm still there, I've got lots of strings going on over the top as well, but it means that Steve's guitar can cut right through um, on the mix. Um, and also I've, I've tempered it so that there's a little bit of, of frequency again. If I just play one chord, I'll show you if you can hear that opening up a little bit. So I can kind of, um, in, in between the gaps, I can fill those gaps up a little bit more. So. small sweep but in the lower part of the frequencies. One of the other little features I like is that you can set up the Wahoo as a, an auto wah obviously but um, it will wah at different frequencies of notes so that you can play a scale. I'm playing a lot of B today, I don't know why. Um, if I switch the, the Wahoo on then actually was as you go up the scale, which I think is brilliant. And it's great on arpeggios. <laughs> now that's, that's quite a novelty thing really, but it, as a practical kind of use, if you were doing a, um, uh, if you're doing a riff and then you want to go on a solo, it, it kind of brings the, the solo part out a little bit, so... Um... See, I mean, you could, the, the lead parts kind of jump up a little bit and the, the rhythm parts kind of in the background. So it's, it's quite a clever idea, if you think about it. So the Wahoo's got a little overdrive circuit in it as well. And um, you can get some quite quirky overdrive tones. I use it more um, 
it sounds great in front of a good valve amp like a Fender or I use uh, Riveras. And uh, if you've got a clean sound and you just put the, the Wahoo overdrive in front of it, you get a kind of quirky um, overdrive effect. And um, I quite like it for... You know, that kind of thing, the kind of bluesy or blues type stuff. It's kind of a muted distortion again, um, so it's it's a good rhythm sound. So it doesn't it doesn't let you get in the way of anybody else. Um, I use it in Imposcar or from our album, and I use it in a lot of um, kind of modern funk songs like the Daft Punk song uh, "Get Lucky." Um, is this little slow filter, which um, it just it's got a nice kind of feel to it. It sounds quite. <laughs> bit lazy um, I find working a while while with my foot quite hard work sometimes um, and also because I've got so many pedals to press because I, I play MIDI guitar as well um, it's almost like doing river dance when I'm doing a live show so every now and again I'll just stick on an auto and, and do a solo and forget about it um, and I've got one that's, that's great for um, like I said you can use the, the Wahoo at two speeds so this is a cool sound for uh, if you've got uh, maybe a slow intro to a song and then you end up playing some fast stuff later on. You can back off the wow on the slow bit and then push it forward on the fast bit. So this is the this is a sound that I use. Um, I've got a bit of overdrive from the, the Providence pedal here. And um, just a... Hear that oscillation of the wah, it's quite quite slow. So if I want to speed that up maybe later in the song I'm playing a bit faster, I just press the pedal down and I get a, a kind of so much kind of um, adds a bit more dynamics to what I'm doing and it means I don't have to do anything with my feet <laughs> so thanks for watching um, remember Sonus Wahoo fantastic wah pedal um, thanks to the guys from Sonus who are just absolute geniuses for coming up with such a great idea cheers <laughs>